Hi everyone and welcome to the channel Without a Wire where we explore everything home automation. In today's video I thought I'll review some smart bulbs and over the coming weeks I will review more of these and compare them and hopefully help you make a decision when you are in the market for smart bulbs. So let's get started. Hi everyone and welcome back. The first smart bulb in the series that I'll be reviewing is the Benita smart bulb. It's a South African company or it's actually made available by a South African company but the light bulbs are supplied by a company called Toya but more on that later. So let's see what's in the box. So before we open the box I think it's important to see what information they provide you as a user on the box so you actually make the right choice and buy the right smart bulb. So let's go through the box on the outside and then we'll open it up and take a look on the inside. So right on the front it says RGB and warm white so that tells you that it would give you different colors and it will also give you warm white. It doesn't mention that it can do uh, cool white. It also tells you that it's compat compatible with Evans and Alexa and Google Home Assistant. Turning it to the side, it just speaks to some of the, the features there. You can dim the lights, change the colors and switch it on and off remotely. And again, where you can find the apps. All right, turning it to the other side, it gives you the specifications. This one is a RGB dimmable light bulb, LED. And the type is E27. Now E27 means that it's an Edison type light bulb, which means it screws in. And the diameter of the fitting is 27 millimeters. Right. Um, voltage 230 volts, but here with us it also works with 220. Uh, it takes about 6 watts of power. And the brightness is 470 lumens, which is quite low. And the color temperature is 2700Ks. Right, and the uh, average lifespan is uh, 25,000 hours. Right, uh, these light bulbs are quite sensitive to um, electricity fluctuations. So I have lost a few of these, especially in South Africa, with our instability on our power grid and the constant blackouts and low shedding. Let's see what else is there. It says it's Wi-Fi router 2.4 gigahertz which means that you do not need a app for, for this light bulb. It will connect directly to your router and then it also gives you the minimum specs on the iOS and Android operating systems. From a features perspective it says you can do remote control, light dimming, RGB colors, uh, you can set a schedule for this light to let it go, uh, go on and off at certain times. Uh, you can share, so you can give someone else access to also control this light through a different app with a different username. Um, you can group it, so you can set up your home and say this is the study or the living room or whatever and you can, can group devices uh, per room and control them as a group. And then it also says works with Echo. It's actually funny that they don't mention Google over here as well. Right, and there's a little QR code that will take you right through to the App Store where you will download the app. And I see the app that they recommend here is called io.e in the App Store, but more on that later too. On the other side, it doesn't really tell you much. It just gives you some display of the functionality that you would have with the Amazon Echo. And then we're back to the front. On the top it says it gives you a little schematic of how to set it up. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So this is what the light bulb looks like. On the light bulb itself there's not much, it's just the logo printed Benita and at the back it says it's a gas proof. There's no specifications in terms of power consumption 
or anything else whatsoever. So if you would get this light bulb right lying around without the box, it won't really give you much and it won't tell you that it's a smart bulb, uh, which is quite a shame because this, this light bulb has so much more potential than a normal light bulb and the light bulb itself doesn't tell you that. Right, more in the box is the user manual. It uh, gives you some setups and where to find the app, how to set up the, the light bulb. It actually does not tell you how to integrate into Google or Alexa. So these light bulbs also come in two variations, the E27, which we explained, the Edison edition, the screw in, but you also get them in a B22, or what we like to call bayonet, which is the smooth hooking type connectors, which means that you do not need these little converters should your house not support the globe that you that you get. Many of the smart globes on the market only supports B27 and very few uh, supports E2022, uh, B22. So um, you also get the other converters that would convert an E27 into a B22 but you can see it significantly increases the length that the globe would need to fit into the socket. And so does the, the B22 connection. You see it significantly increases the length of the bulb. Well, that's in the box. So let's look at the features and functionalities next. So from a features and functionality perspective, the light bulb gives you quite a bit to play with in terms of colors, but it is limited to a warm white. So if you would need some brightness or white, a cool white uh, globe, this is not the globe for you. This will only give you warm white. And it's not particularly bright. It's on the lower side with only 470 lumens with the average being about 800 lumens uh, compared to what, what else is out there on the market. From an integration point of view, these light bulbs do integrate into most of the platforms. They do integrate into uh, the Alexa app. They do integrate into Google, IFTTT, Home Assistant and SmartThings. Unfortunately, these light bulbs do not support Apple HomeKit, which Brings us to the app. Let's have a look at the app. So from an app perspective, although on the box it points you to an app called io.e, uh, the manufacturer, as we previously mentioned, is uh, Toya. It's a Chinese company, which means that the South African company or the guys from Benita import these light bulbs from Toya and they just put their branding on it, which means that this light bulb is actually uh, by definition, a Toya smart, smart Globe. So, that said, there's also the Smart Life app that supports the Toya pro products. So, I've tested it a little bit and setting it up in the io.e app, it takes uh, about a minute to set up. It's quite slow and it's basically a, a skin of the Smart Life app. It's just changing the colors of the login and um, some of the setup menus may look a little bit different, but overall the app looks almost the same like the Smart Life app, uh, just with the different branding colors. So I've also tested signing up into the io.e app. Once you've created an account there, it doesn't work on the Smart Life app. But if you register an account on Smart Life, and you go into the io.e app, and you sign in with those credentials, it will work because essentially these light bulbs will go through to the South African servers and then through to the Toya servers in, in China. So if you would want to set this up, I would recommend use the Smart Life app because the io.e app they do not have any integrations into any of the platforms except for Google. So I've tested it with, with all of them. Only Google supports the io.e app 
none of the other platforms. But if you would set this globe up in the Smart Life app, the API already exists and it integrates smoothly into all the other platforms, like you can see. So from an integration perspective, they all work more or less the same. You would go into the platform, I have Triple T, Home Assistant, Smart Things, Alexa, or even Google, and it will ask you for your credentials for the Smart Life app, or in Google's case, you can do it with Smart Life and io.e. Once you put in your credentials, essentially those accounts are linked through APIs, and you'll be able to control these lights from your home automation platforms. And with Google and Alexa, you would also be able to do voice commands and set up routines and all that kind of stuff. So let's put these light bulbs to the test and see if they are actually doing 470 lumens or how bright they are. So in the absence of having an accurate light meter, I put up the Benita bulb against a competing bulb that is rated at 806 lumens versus the Benita bulb that is rated at 470 with Benita bulb being on the right hand side and on the left we have a competing bulb. You can see there's not much difference although you can see that there's a little bit more brightness on the competing bulb but the competing bulb also has cool white which contributes to a higher brightness. So let's compare them if we go through the colors. Let's start with the color red. So that is the competing bulb at red. 100% brightness and if we set the Bonita bulb to red at 100% brightness you can see there's not much difference although the color accuracy on the red is a bit more accurate on the Bonita bulb than on the competing bulb. Let's go green. So there's green. Let's set the competitor bulb to green. You can see there's also a little bit more brightness on the competitor bulb than on the Bonita bulb on green, but the color colors are fairly accurate. Let's look at blue and compare on blue. Again, you can see there's a little bit of a difference, more brightness on, on the left-hand side than the right, so there's not much of a difference from a vi visual point of view but uh, that would give you a good indication as to how the Bonita bulb compares to its competitors. That brings us to the things I like about these light bulbs. The first thing I like about these light bulbs are that they come in both um, E27 and B22 connections, so you don't need to buy one of these converters to actually make the light bulb fit into the fitting that you have at home. Another thing that I like about this light bulb is the packaging. The packaging is quite informative and it tells you exactly what you are buying. So there's no surprises when you open up the light bulb and try and connect and integrate it into your smarter. There are a couple of pitfalls which we will deal in the dislikes, but other than that, it's quite informative and it scores quite high on the information provided to the user. The third thing I like about these light bulbs are that they are proudly South African and quite competitively priced. We'll get to price in, in a moment, but this is one of the advantages or one of the things that I like about these, these light bulbs are that they are fairly cheap. Let's look at the things that I don't like about this light bulb. First thing I don't like about this, this light bulb is that the packaging uh, tells you that it's compatible with Alexa and with Google through the io.e app, which is actually a false statement. It's not compatible with the Amazon Alexa app unless you set up the, the light bulb with the Smart Life app instead of the recommended app. So this is a bit misleading and uh, one of my dislikes of this product, definitely. 
The other dislike that I have of this product is that it is not a bright bulb. It's 470 lumens, which means that if you need a lot of light in the space that you're going to use this light bulb for, this is not the light bulb to buy. It's not very bright and it's not going to satisfy your needs. If you need a cool white light bulb, this is also not your light bulb. It only gives you a warm white and RGB colors and not very bright at that. The third thing that I don't like about these light bulbs is that they do not support a previously on state, which means that when the power goes off, especially in South Africa, this light bulb will not go and check what the previous state was before the power cut and then return to that previously on state. It will just turn on. So if you have load shedding or blackout in the middle of the night and the power comes back on, this light bulb will go on as well, which means that you would have to get up and switch it off. Or if it's in your bedroom, this light bulb will wake you when the power comes back on. So that takes care of the dislikes of this, this product. Which brings us to price. When compared to other products, in my future videos you will, it will become more clear. This is one of the cheapest light bulbs, smart light bulbs, that you can buy on the market in South Africa today. Prices range from about 185 Rand and up, which is pretty cheap considering some of these light bulbs go into the thousands of Rands. So, quite competitively priced and quite a cheap product to buy. Lastly, let's have a look at how well this light bulb did for the information on the box, I will give it an 8 out of 10 because it does give you quite a lot of information, although some missing and some misleading. Opening the box inside, uh, the bulb doesn't have a lot of printing on it, so it will not give you a indication whether it's a smart bulb or not. And looking at the, the leaflet inside, the instructions on setting it up is well laid out and well written but it still lacks the information in setting it up for Alexa or Google. Therefore, it gets an 8 out of 10 for inside the box. Looking at the physical features, this light bulb do support both E22 and B27 fittings, which means I give it a 10 out of 10 for the fitting type. Brightness gets a 4 out of 10 for the 470 lumens, which is quite low compared to other light bulbs in the market. Looking at integrations, for the integration into the Amazon Alexa app, I will give it a 5 out of 10 because this light bulb do support two apps and only one of the two apps have an integration into Alexa. Google gets a 10 out of 10 because it supports both the apps and you can integrate both of them in, into Google. Home Assistant also only gets a 5 because it only supports Toya or Smart Life for the integration into Home Assistant. Smart Things also only has a Smart Life integration and does not support the io.e app. And the same for IFTT. Gets a 5 out of 10 for the integration there. Apple HomeKit gets a 0 because there's no support for Apple HomeKit on this light bulb, which gives it a total score of 55 out of 100. Thanks everybody for watching and if you like this video please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and switch on your notification by hitting that uh, bell icon. If you would want to contribute to this channel you can sign up to the Patreon campaign where many of these devices will become available after I review them or you can do a once-off donation to PayPal. If you are interested in a consultation please send me an email email address is on the screen right now. If you would like to showcase your own, own home automation and you have some innovative ideas that you want to share with us, also get in contact with me. And remember, links to all these products are all available in the video description. So what smart bulbs are your favorite and which ones do you prefer? Let me know by leaving a, a comment in the comment section. Thanks everybody for watching and see you in the next video.